Hello makeup lovers! Today's video I'm excited about because I have not done a full makeup routine video in a while. I've been just focusing on just one thing or the other. So this is my makeup routine from start to finish using a lot of new products. My Makeup Revolution Primer and Setting Spray I have not used with you guys yet. Um, I just am really enjoying this look. It's a little more of like a nighttime look. Going out to dinner, going out on the town, or if you're me, you're going to Art Van looking like this in high-waisted yoga pants. But either way, I just love the look. I hope you guys do too. I hope you enjoy the video. Mwah. All right, so I'm starting with my Makeup Revolution Pro Base Blur Primer. It has like an illumination base to it. It is colorless and just has like these little shimmery sparkles in it. And um, it's a really good tacky silicone based um primer for this foundation I'm using which is the Maybelline 24 hour foundation and, and it's in the color natural ivory the number 112 and um I am just patting it in with a damp sponge to give me that you know airbrush look to make it look more natural this foundation I love and it really does last all day they were not lying so now that my foundation's on, I'm going to set it to get that tacky feeling to go away so I can put everything on top of it and blend it nicely. I'm using my NYX HD Finishing Powder. Um, it is a colorless translucent powder and it basically um, just, you know, it sets your foundation in so you can go on to the next step. Uh, so the next step is contour. So I'm using my NYX Contour Stick, just the dark side on this. And I've just kind of been like contouring the sides of my forehead rather than on my hairline lately. I don't know why. I feel like I like that brightness in the middle of my forehead. So I'm doing that. And I'm just doing my nose, cheekbones, under my bottom lip, jawline, and all of those areas. Um, this is a nice light color for fair skin people. And it blends really nicely. Especially if you don't want a dramatic contour. The NYX Contour Stick is awesome for that. So I'm using my Sonia Keshuk, um, my contour brush to blend this in. And I sprayed my face with the MAC Fix Plus beforehand just to help things. Things just blend so much better when you use that spray. Um, I don't know. When I don't use it, I feel like it's really hard for me to blend in my dark contour color. And that just makes it a lot easier. So I'm just blending that all in. See, it's very, it's very light and natural looking. So now I'm going under my eyes. Um, first, I put in a little bit of white underneath my normal concealer color because I really like bright under eyes and I feel like it gets rid of any kind of dark circles you may have. Um, I only use the white under my eyes though like I said. So I'm just going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and all the other areas that I like to conceal. Forehead, under my dark contour, center of my nose, all the places you want to attract light basically. Just to give you that sun-kissed glow. All right, so now all of my um, my Shape Tape is basically blended. So next I'm going to be baking my face with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Um, I use this in the number 05 Fair Claire. I basically use the Fair in all of my, my Fit Me stuff, my foundation, my under eye concealer. I'm basically always using the Fair shades. So I'm just putting this everywhere where my foundation would have been sitting in the like the lines, the creases in my face, which is basically mostly my forehead and under my eyes. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows while I let my face bake. I am using, oh no, I got to find it. Here it is. Um, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set in 215 Deep Brunette, and this is my absolute favorite brow stuff. I was using a different brow gel before the Bella Pierre that I got in my Ipsy bag, but now this is my new favorite. It is my go-to. I love it. All right, so now my brows are good. Um, now I'm just using my big fluffy brush to brush off all of that setting powder, and now all of my fine lines will not be popping out, and everything looks complete. Now I can move on to bronzer. So I'm using my Makeup Revolution Bronzer Palette. I love it. There's so many great colors in here. And there's so many great light bronzer shades, which is great for fair skin. I don't want to do too dramatic of 
a look today on my face since my eyes were so dramatic, so I used my lightest color in that palette. I'm doing a little bit on my neck too, just to give it some definition. Now I'm going in with like a more baked bronzy color just to enhance my cheekbones just a little bit more and to give them a little bit of shimmer because the sun is shining today and I want my face to be glowing. Yep, adding a lot on. <laughs> Next is blush. I am going back to the Maybelline Fit Me line um, in the color Coral. This is like just a natural skin enhancing tone like it's not a dramatic blush but it just gives you like just a little bit of like a natural flush look so for my highlight I'm using my city color highlight palette that I um, I got this in an ipsy bag recently too and um my sister-in-law got that that brush the fan brush I was using in her ipsy bag and gave it to me and I love it now I'm put some on my nose that is the first time I've ever put highlight on my chin and my forehead, I don't know why I did it. I feel like the sun was just shining today and I wanted to be extra glowy. And that is a really light highlight. Oh yeah, you can see it shining. So now we're starting eyes with my Makeup Revolution Iconic Neutrals 2 palette. It's the warmest, prettiest shades in there. I got my handy dandy cardboard edge paper. So I'm just going in with the light color here, um, just as like a nice shade to start off with to build everything else on top of. All right, so now I'm just starting to build colors, going darker and darker. Now that I did the lighter shade, I'm going in with the darker warm brown shade, and this will be a good base for the next color that I will be using, which um, will, I'll start to get into like those warmer eyeshadows. All right, now we're starting to do the pinky reddish tones that I'm so in love with. Um, this is, obviously you can see how easily these colors blend. This whole eyeshadow palette was only $7 and that is not a sale price, that is full price. It's amazing. Right now I'm just kind of blending things in. I did the other eye and just making sure everything is even. Um, going back with one of the brown colors and I'm softening the outer edges of my look basically just to make sure it's all perfect. So this is the NYX lingerie, like liquid eyeshadow. Um, I don't know if there's, it's the color Evening Spell. And it's really creamy and when you put eyeshadow over it, it just sticks so well. I don't even think it really needs an eyeshadow over it. I just really like that eyeshadow in my Makeup Revolution palette that matched it so well um, that I just, I wanted to put it over it to enhance it. You can see how pretty it is. It is a nice foiled eyeshadow. So I'm just packing it on over that. You can see the shades are almost identical. It just made it look, I don't know, more shimmery. It gave it more of like a pop. Now I'm just going in and blending the other colors I was using. That way you don't see a line from where the liquid eyeshadow started and the powder ones ended. Now I'm going under my lash line um, with the brown I used first and then after I do the brown color I'm going to go in with the more reddish tone and kind of layer that on. I run it like a really smoky under eye as well. Um, you know I've said before in my videos I like everything to flow and match. I'm very matchy matchy as you will see with the lip color I'm using. I like everything to match. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going in with my NYX Faux Black Eyeliner, and it actually says on the pencil, Inner Eyeliner, so I feel like this is meant for your waterline, and I really feel like it's, it stays nicely, but um, halfway through the day, I feel like I have to put it on again, so do keep that in mind, even though it says Inner Eyeliner, I feel like... Like, nothing stays on my waterline. It is so hard to find something that stays. If you guys know of a really good eyeliner that stays on your waterline, let a sister know. So I'm going in with the winged liner. I'm using um, that eyeliner I got in my last Ipsy bag, the Starstruck. It comes with the star stamp. I don't know if you guys remember me applying that in a couple, a couple videos ago. Really good liquid eyeliner.
Right now I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners. Um, I actually, I almost forgot to do that. I'm so glad I remembered. I, when I forget that I get so mad at myself, especially when I'm showing a complete makeup look, I want you guys to know every single step that I do. Time for mascara. Just putting a little bit on. I've been putting mascara on before my lashes lately because I feel like when I don't put mascara on first, the glue gets too close to my eyeball and it irritates my eyes all day long. All right, time for lips. I am starting with a the eyeliner that I put on my waterline. Yes, I'm putting an eyeliner on my lips, but why not, right? So I'm just lining my lips with that and filling them in a little bit just to give a good base for the Ultra Satin Lips, although ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lips do not need an eyeliner or, or lip liner, an eyeliner slash lip liner, but it doesn't hurt to just, you know, switch it up and do something different. These Ultra Satin Lips, oh my god, look how easily they just glide on and they look so glossy and they stay so nicely. I just, I'm obsessed with them. Alright guys, so this concludes the look. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. I love this color combo. I know it's a little deep for spring, but I was just feeling kind of dramatic today and I really wanted to play around with the darker colors in this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Neutrals 2 palette. I love that, um, where is it? The NYX lingerie, the like the liquid eyeshadow that I use, matched this color so perfectly right here that I just really wanted to like use that as my lid color, and I had so much fun with it. Um, I'm just gonna use I bought this new extra hold makeup fixing spray by Makeup Revolution as well. I'm loving Makeup Revolution lately, so I'm just gonna spritz this on, and I will be all done. And then you can like, comment, whatever you want to do, or don't comment. Um, I just want to know if anybody likes these videos and if you like the looks I have been doing. Um, next, I'm going to be doing, I think, like a peach and purple combo because I ordered the Morphe 25C palette. and has the most gorgeous shades, especially for spring, so I will be doing that next.